Okay, so here's a quick video to show you how to set up your factor pedals from Eventide to work with Pilot Wave. This includes the time factor, mod factor, pitch factor, and space pedals. So the first thing you want to do is connect your pedal to the H9 control app and update the firmware for the pedal if you haven't already. You want to use the latest version. Once your pedal's connected and updated, go down to the right here at the bottom and click on Pedal Settings. The changes we make apply to all four of the pedals, Time Factor, Mod Factor, Pitch Factor, and Space. So you can use this tutorial for any of those. So click on Pedal Settings, and then when you're on that page, the first thing you want to do is click on General Settings up here at the top, and we want to make sure your pedal has the right global settings. So the ones that are really important for Pilot Wave are Bypass Enabled, which is the top one here, Make sure that's yes, then you hit the back button, then bypass mode. You want to use DSP here rather than the relay because we're going to switch the effect on and off quickly and you don't want to do that with a relay if you can help it because it might burn it out. So we're going to use DSP bypass, then kill dry audio should say no, global tempo no and global mix no. And then down here at the bottom, routing, make sure that's set to normal. Now normal is going to be the default, and most of these are the default settings, but you want to go in and just double check that they're set up the right way. Also, all this information is over on the quick start page on stepaudio.net. So you can go over there, click on your pedal, and that'll bring up a table that'll show you exactly how to set up all these different settings. So we click back. And then the other important thing we got to set up are the MIDI settings. So click on MIDI settings here. And the first thing is MIDI receive channel. We want that to be channel 14. So if it's not already on 14, which it probably isn't, go in there and select channel 14, then hit back. And then the other really important one here is assign MIDI CC messages to pedal functions. Now CCs are control changes. So Pilot Wave sends out numbers to the Eventide pedal. Well, we have to assign those numbers to specific pedal functions. So that's what we're gonna do here. So click on that. And we don't need to use all of them, but the important ones here are tap tempo. We wanna have that at MIDI CC 64. So if it's not already 64, go in here and select 64, then hit the back button. Then we go to the next one. And the next one is performance switch. And we want that to be MIDI CC67. That's also known as the flex switch on the pitch factor. And then bypass, we want that to be MIDI CC65. Activate, MIDI CC66. And we'll scroll down a little more here. Left foot switch should be MIDI CC34. Middle foot switch, 35. And the right foot switch, 36. So again, you're going to have to go in and assign those. And then the expression pedal value, you want to switch that to CC11, which is the standard value for expression pedals. So if it's not already on 11, again, go in here, select 11, then hit back. Then there are 10 different values for the different knobs on the factor pedals. In the editor here, they're shown as set parameter 1 through 10. And they should be pre-assigned to MIDI CC 22 through 31. If they're not, go through and change them. So number one is 22, number two is 23, etc., all the way through number 10, which is 31. Then finally, input volume and output volume, well, they're pre-assigned to 32 and 33 on your pedal, but we need to change those because CC 32 is reserved for different functions in MIDI. So go in and set the input volume to control change 41 and output volume to control change 42. Then hit back again. Then we're gonna go into MIDI clock. Now we're gonna shut off MIDI clock for the factor pedals because we're gonna use information from Pilot Wave to set the timing. Therefore, you wanna turn off enable MIDI input clock. You want that to be no. Enable MIDI clock filter should be no. 
and enable MIDI clock output should be no. So no to all three of those on MIDI clock. And then finally, MIDI output mode. So click on that. And there's a MIDI jack on the side of the factor pedals that can repeat information that comes in at the input. So if you want to daisy chain another pedal to the factor pedals, you'll want to set this to through. So make sure it's on through, then go back, back again, and there you are. Now you have your pedal set up to work with Pilot Wave. Then when you're programming presets, you can use the device specific menus, find your pedal, and all the different parameters will be pre-assigned to the right values. Again, all this information is over on the quick start page and there's a table of these different values so you can just double check it against what you have on your pedal right now. You don't have to do anything else. As soon as you make these changes, they're saved onto the pedal. So you're good to go.